Hi, my name is Kevin Keenahan from Corec, and I'm just going to give you a brief overview of the latest and greatest Trimble Axis 2018. This has been released with the new um, TSC7 controller and it's also available on the T10 tablets also. So what I'll do is give you a qu quick overview on what it looks like. First off, we have a new screen here and then now we have projects. So what happens is we'll be creating new projects. So we'll have a folder called the name, whatever name our project is and within there we'll have all our jobs. So first off, I'm gonna create a brand new folder. So I'm gonna give this name, so, um, just call it Ireland Corec. Description, Trimble Access 2018. In here we can give it a, a reference name, so TA1. And we can even give it a location, called Ireland. And we can also give it an image. So when you hit the folder here, it'll actually browse to your images. So what I'll do is take just a JPEG. So I have a Trimble SX10 image, and I'm gonna create that site. Once the site is created, so my project's all done, it asks me to create a job. So what I'm gonna do is call this Trimble Access 2018, and um, new, so new user interface, okay? And then you have your default templates, you can create from a J JXL, or you can import from a DC. So what I'll do is just leave it for scale one, and this is uh, very familiar to the Trimble Access um, users here. You just have your usual um, job screen. So from there, I will hit accept, and it brings me straight into the map screen. Okay, so once I'm in my map screen, up in the top left here, I can go in, and this is my new menu screen. So in here, I'll say my project, any stage I can actually select in there, and it'll bring me in to my project. So you can see here, this is my uh, latest project here on the right hand side. Okay, so in here it says, I just have to create in Coric Ireland. In there, in the three little keys, I can delete it. And my reference to my job, my location, and the job I'm currently in. On my left end, these are all the recent jobs. And you notice these are grayed out because these are the sites that I've created on my Trimble Connect account, which is here and I can download them from Trimble Connect. Okay, it's so very seamless between Trimble Access and Trimble Connect. In there, there's properties. I can go into the properties and change all the names if I so wish. So I can go in there and change the description, location, and the image, okay? So I'll accept that, open that, and when I open it this time, it'll ask me what job I am. So I can go new job, last job, name of the jobs, status i can say it's new it's in progress or it's completed and it'll change and update this job within this job this is uh gives me copy the job i can import i can export and i can go into the properties of the job to see the templates so what i'll do is just open that and this is my main screen here so if i hit my uh menu key again i might can see my job data and there i can review the job point manager is there quality graph the map and my file explorer. Um, in here, you have all the apps. So I have general survey, roads, tunnels, mines, so I can go back to general survey, and you'll see the image is always up here on the left. I have my time and date, and then my battery power. So if you're running the TSC7, you'll have the individual batteries here, and you'll have another battery here for if you had your receiver. So same here, you'll have your receivers here, so you can take what you're gonna use, you can go into your Bluetooth, uh, radio and Wi-Fi, for example, the SX10. So just go through this menu here. So general survey, the usual um, ones here again. So we've the review job, review job, point manager. I can key my notes and the most famous uh, measure topo and stake out. So you'll wonder these numbers here. So these um, have popped into my favorites. So you can notice there my favorites are number one, two, three, four, and five. So what I can do is I can hit number one on my keypad or I can select it on the touch screen. I also can edit in here. So in here, I can delete whatever ones I want. I can delete them all or I can go to defaults. 
okay so I can put in whatever I want in my favorites if I press the back arrow and go back to main screen so I can hit the menu again so these are my favorites okay so if I go into instrument and GNS functions you can see in here there's little star icons so if you are using these a lot the star icons so you can actually tap on it and then you can uh, assign a function key to it or you can add it to your favorites so now when I go back to my main screen back to my map I go back into my menu and you'll notice here now seven so you can add on keys uh, quick keys and function keys so that's in the new favorites uh, menu here and what's really nice as well is if you go into this screen here you can say hey I want to return to the map screen tap on that and I'm back into the map screen so it'll always say return to your last function go okay so I can also go into my settings and this is where the usual service style templates connections for your internet your libraries and your language okay also at the bottom here you have your help guide which will bring you into an uh, internet address or you can go down to the end and you can go into about and it'll tell you all about your license there okay so just on the main uh, screen so it has select pan screen zoom in and zoom out zoom extends uh, 3d rotate and then you have your view so if you tap on that you have your top right front so this is very similar to uh, previous um, functions like uh, for example the Yuma 2 tablet um, in here you've uh, your seeing so your settings your scans filter and pan 2 and in here you have your active maps which is nice and easy to flick between drawings add drawings so that's your basic um, overview of the new access 2018 so in here it's really nicely laid out nice and colorful graphics easy to use and um, flicking in and out between data and um, once you've all that done you can go into your project it'll pop in here and uh, you can actually wait and sync your data in there and there's a new feature called Trimble Sync Manager which um, syncs all the data and you have a complete field to office and office to field solution so that's just a basic overview on uh, Trimble Access 2018 uh, from Corec Group. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks. Bye.